This is a review of three different materials for anastomosis training. We use these materials to minimize the use of animal models. And recently I saw the 3D Hub's website where you can print 3D models. The difference with this surface is that they have all types of materials. This means I can use it for artificial organs. After you have made your 3D file, uh, for example in SketchUp, you can go to the website, upload your file, select your material and they will start making it and you'll probably receive it within a week. For the next test I will combine different types of material to see if I can print a small organ. This time I used TPU standard. This simple Baldock model was delivered within one week. Unfortunately I made them a bit too thick. I bought the other materials on lifelike biotissue and I got a Gore-Tex vascular graft. We will use these materials to compare the anastomosis with a 4.0 suture. The middle one is the 3D printed material, the left one is the biotissue material, and the right one is Gore-Tex. So first for the TPU 3D printed material, you can see it's really stiff. When you grab it, it doesn't give in that much. It's almost too rigid to pass the needle. With the Gore-Tex material you can see the needle pass through easily. This material is flexible but it's not elastic. And that's what makes the biotissue more realistic. That the needle passes through easily. The material is so flexible that you can pass through immediately. The Gore-Tex material is really nice for suturing but it doesn't really damage easily and that makes it less realistic. Again in the 3D printed material it's almost impossible to pass the needle through adequately. Now here with the biotissue material this is what you want. A tissue that forms towards your anastomosis and is really easy to suture on, but also easily damaged. For these anastomosis, I had the help of Dr. Alberto Balduzzi. He's a research fellow at our academic medical center. The biotissue is made in Canada with a type of silicon. And I just order a bunch of it to use for training. After each anastomosis, the participants can take a look at their anastomosis from the inside out and see the results. Now it's time to cut them. Let's see how they react. Please let us know what type of material you use for training and whether you have any experience with 3D printing organs. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.